All righty. Uh, let's continue after running around for a while. Uh, I thought I wouldn't record it. Well, I did record it, but blah. Nothing happened. So I looked at the uh, walkthrough eventually, and I can't do anything with this. Can't do anything with this. I can look at the pod. It's a single person pod. I've got a few hours of simulated experience with these babies. They're pretty maneuverable, fast. And apparently, it has a panel. Well, it has a l guiding light on it, but yeah. It doesn't really strike me as a panel. Let's see what the panel does. Oxygen filter? Damn, the filter is missing. And I guess now I know what to look for. Oxygen filter. Yeah. So because of that little thing, I guess I wasted like, uh, what? 30 minutes or so? 20? 30? I don't know. No, why does it do that? Okay. Roger on that command, Central. Moving into position. Out. Mm-hmm. Roger that, Central. Taking a break. Out. Still can't go back. In the vents. I wonder why. Does it only show me the number? I'll do a quick search for the oxygen filter I need. Pods, spare parts, oxygen filters. Bingo! They've got a bunch of them in stock stored at L109. L109. Where was the L109? Was it right next to... Can't remember. R1. Oh. 90 R 9 52 G 34 15 and 16 Let's go from back to front then E 1489 to 102 oh. and L 10 9 L 10 that's the one Yeah Goody Can I Takes it. I can. But if it's a single person thing. It kind of sounds like one of us is going to be left behind. Maybe if I first send the guy out, it gives another thing on the part and that'll have the filter ready. <laughs> or I have to do two trips. I don't know. Oh god. Yeah, slowly. Oh my fucking god. Point and click with yeah. Roger on that command, Central. Moving into position. Don't really no. know where you're pointing or where you're clicking all the 
Roger that. Well, Central taking at a break. Times. Lots of running around. It's a single person pod. I've got a few hours of simulated experience with these babies. They're pretty maneuverable. Fast. It's the oxygen filter for the maintenance pod. Yay. Alrighty, now can we get the guy in the thing? Step into this machine. Oh yes. What is it? Who knows? It's a pod, a sort of exoskeletal spacesuit. Oh hell, like you have any idea what I'm talking about? It will protect you when we travel to the gateway, that's all you need to know. How do I use it? Well, you don't. Or at least you don't. I will launch myself right behind you, and then I'll come to get you. We'll go through the gateway together. I understand. One thing, April? One thing, April. When we get to my... to the Guardian's realm, we may be separated, and I must give you a warning. Yeah? Of what? Of the three trials before you get to the Well of Making. Goody. There are more trials still. I thought that since I had the disc... The disc is but the key, and a replacement for the disc that was broken when I... when I deserted the tower. You will still need to prove your worth to the balance, that you can take the responsibility of being Guardian for a thousand years. How oh, great. Okay, so tell me, what are these, uh... three trials? High jump, long jump. The first trial oh. is a trial of might. Defeat a powerful enemy using your talents in war and in magic. Great. I have absolutely no magical or warrior talents whatsoever. And the second one? You have bind magic. The second trial is the trial of spirit. Face that which you fear the most. The darkness in your heart to go on. Spiders? You may not even be aware of your deepest fear, April. It is locked in your heart. The third trial is the trial of matter. To get to the well of making, you must cross an apparently insurmountable barrier using whatever means at your disposal. Intriguing. That sounds like the easiest one. So that's it? Pass through those trials and I'm home free? Yes. Like I said, there is a chance I might not be there with you. And in that case, you must make your way towards the tower. Okay, got it. Now, let's hurry up before somebody finds us here. Go into the pod and don't worry, I'll be right behind you. So he might not be there. I'm pretty sure he won't be there. And the might is just a mighty word.
Anybody here? Compared to this place, Arcadia was about as alien as my bedroom. Blue sand. Never seen that outside of a Picasso. Blue? Does it look that bold? Pool to me. Thousand years in here. Oh, good God. Adrian told me that once I arrive in the Guardian's realm, there are three trials I must pass in order to get to the tower. The first is the trial of might, the second the trial of spirit, and the third is the trial of matter. Considering what I've been through so far, I don't think I'll have a problem with either of them, but you never know. Best to be prepared. I do wonder, however, what my greatest fear may be. It used to be water, but now that I can breathe underwater, I don't really have the phobia anymore. As for spiders, hey, they're disgusting, but I've fought the gribbler. No creature, great or small, can scare me anymore. No, it's got to be something more personal, something I've probably blocked out. But what? Yeah. Monkeys? Do I have this thing? I mean, apes? I don't know. So are these... no. The tower. That must be the Guardian's Tower. It's either very small or very far away, and from what I know of the balance, it doesn't settle for economy-sized. I think I'm in for a long walk. Mm-hmm. Well... Conveniently, the chapter was named The Longest Journey. I can't remember landing. I remember the wormhole, the dimensional shift, then this. Maybe you're at home dreaming. Wouldn't that be a turn of events? The pod took a beating, though. I don't think I'll be able to use it again. Goody. So... I'm stuck in space. Which is always nice. It's barren and lifeless. This world looks like it's on the verge of collapsing on itself. How did the guy get out here? Out from here? Who knows? There's the second pod, but I don't see... Adrian! Maybe he's inside. Hope not. It's not in here. Oh, good. So he must have survived the landing, but where is he? Gone. Apparently playing drums. Adrian? Somewhere. Adrian! Well, he told me to go towards the tower. There's nothing out here. It's completely barren. Let's do just that. The tower's closer than it was before, so I'm making progress. Very slowly. Yeah, let's keep to it. Magic then? Apparently. Magic might be able to bind the chaos vortex somehow, but if I try to throw the potion, I'm just wasting. I don't know what that is. Oh. 
I made a ray gun. Oh, I thought it was floating in the air. Well? It's the talisman of the balance. Bound with magic. If I had wings, I could fly across. And if I had that... Since I don't, I'll just have to head back down to the desert and try to find my way around the chasm. Yeah. If I had the lightest feather thing, I could have just jumped over. Made it. To the other side at least. So, what the hell. Towards tower. Is there anything else? There was. Just a slight blink of a... Uh... There. Towards tower. Why is it here? There's a small slither of towards tower here. Let's go there. Whoa. What is this? It looks like home. It's home. It's not it's like a projection, but it's definitely the kitchen back home. The way it used to look when I was eight or nine. Deepest fear. Home. No, what's happening to me? What who's there? I got you something special. Dad? Daddy? Is that you? Hush, pumpkin. Come here. Daddy's got something for you. Please, Daddy, don't hurt me. Didn't I say to come here? Come here right now, bro. Daddy wants to give you something, pumpkin. Come on. Oh, I'm in control. It's our kitchen, where mommy cooks breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and cleans the dishes. Everywhere is a kitchen. I'm in my Sunday dress, looking my best for church. Daddy looks so... scary. It's our kitchen, where mommy cooks breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and cleans the dishes. I can't play the flute. Can I give it to him? No. Maybe I can fight him off with this too. No? Well... Come to daddy, pumpkin. Come to daddy. And I will make everything... Daddy looks so scary. What the hell? Come to Daddy Pumpkin. Come to Daddy. And I will make everything quiet. Can't go in. What the hell am I supposed to do? Play with the it's monkey? Comfortable guy brush. My toy, ape. Uh, excuse me? Give him a ring? Um... I hope the ring isn't bigger than it seems. I hope it's just one that you put on the Daddy, finger. please, you don't want to hurt me. You're not a bad person. You're not. Really, d don't. I'm not your daddy. I'm not your daddy. You came into our lives and you destroyed us. You took advantage of us. You're a frightful little beast. Yeah. But Daddy, you gave me this. You gave this to me, Daddy. You do care. You do love me. You're just not very good at it. No. You destroyed us. We were a... a family and you... God forgive me. 
What have I done? What have I done to you? Who knows? You did nothing, Daddy. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't your fault that I got hurt. I... I'd been drinking and I... She was so beautiful. My little April, you were so beautiful. We wanted to give you a home. We wanted to be what your biological parents couldn't be. A family. That night, when we brought you home, I'd had a few drinks with the guys. I was feeling... feeling a little dizzy, and... and then your mother... She says to me, hold her, hold your baby girl in your arms, and I take you, and I hold you, and you, you look up at me with such startled eyes, like, like it's the first time you see somebody like me. I fell in love with you, my little baby. You were so beautiful, and you smiled at me, and then I... I don't know what happened, but I was, I was taking a step forward, and I stumbled. You fell to the floor, but you didn't cry, you didn't even whimper. When the doctors told us you would never walk... What? Oh, my baby, I couldn't stand the guilt. I... I don't know why that made me into the monster that I am. Can't walk? Why I decided that hurting you was the only way I could face my shame. When you started walking and then getting better and oh. better at it, it was like you were mocking me. I was such a fool, a selfish fool, and now I, I lost you forever. I forgive you. You do? Yes, I forgive you for everything. I forgive you. I forgive you, Daddy. Interesting. Those rocks look dark and forbidding. Very ominous. Those rocks look dark and forbidding. Very ominous. The tower is very close now. And there's only one more challenge. I guess. Or was it a test? Or a trial? Finally, I thought I'd never make it here. Oh, great. There's a large canyon circling the tower and there doesn't seem to be any way across. Goody. So this is the long jump part, I guess. It's some kind of conical sandstone structure, reaching about a third of the way to the base of the tower. It's the Guardian's Tower, so close yet so far away. If I only knew it was on the other side, perhaps I'd be able to find a way to get across. On the other side? Boating clouds. The canyon's filled with dense fog blocking my view, but it's definitely a very long way down, and the walls look much too steep to climb. I'd love to have a look at what's down there. How though? Oh, not like that. Or like that. Uh, is the bird here? Uh, the crow. Apparently. <laughs> what the hell? It worked! What? 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 Hello, old friend. April, what the heck? What happened? Good question. 
You're in space now. Yeah, what did happen? You're asking me? I was just, um... Helping? Helping this cute little sparrow with her new nest up in Riverwood. Next thing I know, there's a blue light, and then... I thought for sure I'd been shot by a hunter's arrow and that you were an angel. Then I had to look around the place. This ain't heaven. I mean, this ain't heaven, is it? No, but thanks. <laughs> sure it is, Crow. And I'm the Archangel April. Sweet! Are there any other birds in heaven? Hmm? Are there? Are there? Pretty ones? Hmm? We got all the dodos you could ever want. Oh, that's great! That's right! Dodos? Dodos? You gotta be kidding me! Oh, I see. You are kidding me. Ha 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 ha, very funny. Why the heck did you bring me here to have a good laugh at my expense? I need to find a way across this canyon and into that tower over there. And to lighten the mood? Why don't you just flap your wings and fly then? Ah, good <laughs> idea. <laughs> oh, that's funny! I kill myself! Flap your wings and fly! Oh, baby! Ooh, that's a zinger! I gotta write that down somewhere. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, <laughs> flap your wings and fly! <laughs> Jeez! Anyways, when did you ever need my help? Oh, sure, you brought me along. Let me do your dirty work once in a while. Exactly. But come on! You could have done just as well on your own. Nope. I mean, you just left me high and dry at the end there, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Just up and left without a word of goodbye. Kinda had to. I didn't mean to leave you like that, Crow, but you couldn't come with me. Oh, sure. Use me, then leave me. Don't worry, I know how that works. I'm not half as innocent as you seem to think. But I thought we were friends. Crow, we are friends. Good friends. That why you gave me the name Crow? Oh, I thought it was nice, all right. Real ring to it. Until I found out what a crow actually is over there in Stark. Crow? What is it? Right. Crow. The sneakiest, dirtiest, most despised bird there is. They're like flying rats. You even have something called a scarecrow to chase us off with, don't you? I mean, crows are so stupid. They're scared off by straw people dressed in rags. Huh. And that's the name you come up with? Crow? <laughs> bah! That's not... No? No excuses. I can't bear it. Oh, the pain. The pain. That's all I am to you, a flying flea bag? I'm sorry. I can't bear to look at you anymore. I gotta fly. Uh, fly me to the Stay and shut thing. up. I... But you... Gave you that name because of a cartoon character I loved when I was a kid. His name was Crowboy. Crowboy? Crowboy. He's the star of a series of what we call animated cartoons. It's like puppet theater. You can watch on a canvas or a screen. Puppet theater. I love puppet theater. Yeah. Crowboy was just the coolest bird there ever was. He was a crow and a cowboy. And he had a hat and a lasso and an albatross called Old Whitey that he rode on. <laughs> he had an albatross? <laughs> His own albatross? And every week he'd come to a new town where the bad guys were making life tough for everybody else. And he'd sort it out like a real hero. He was a hero? Crowboy? So that's why I called you Crow. I figured... You're not a cowboy, so it'll be just Crow. And besides, I think crows are cool. Oh, damn, got right, yeah, dip, you, you know, damn, you know, I, bro, me and my big beak. I couldn't keep it shut, could I? I had to say something stupid. I'm so stupid, dumb, stupid, stupid, dumb, dumb, stupid. Nah. It was a misunderstanding, Crow. It could have happened to anybody, even good friends, especially good friends. Yeah, yeah, but, but, but I'm so stupid. Who's not? Are you going to keep beating yourself up? Or are you going to help me? Time's running short. Of course I'm going to help you. Anything for you, April. Just tell old Crow what to do, and he'll do it. Like that. I can be a hero, too. Just like Crowboy. Okay, let me think. 
Don't say it like that. Okay, uh, I'll have to put him... Hey, go see what's down in the canyon. Crow, I need you to fly down into the canyon to see what's below the fog. Into the canyon? Below the fog? Yeah. Are you scared? I didn't say that. <laughs> it's just, well, fog clings to my feathers and... and... It's water. Would Crowboy do it? Crowboy would do it, but he'd be careful not to get hurt. And he'd come right back up again if he saw anything remotely dangerous. Of course. Okay. Hold tight. I'll be back soon. What do I hold? And there he is. So? So what did you see, Crow? What was below the fog? You're not gonna believe me. No, I'm not. What? I told you, you're not going to believe me. True. Just tell me what you saw. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> nothing? As in nothing out of the ordinary? No, there's nothing. No, as in nothing at all. The absence of anything. Below the fog, there was nothing. It was terrifying. Until you've seen what nothing looks like, you won't be able to fully appreciate something, anything at all. I used to hate this blue sand. I mean... Used to? Blue sand? What the heck? You've been here for so long. Now, though, I love it. It's sand, and it's blue. It's something. Not like that. Nothing down there. It was freaky. So there's no way I can climb down, cross over, and climb up on the other side. Why would you? You'll fall into the nothing. I'm telling you, I don't even think time passes down there. You'd be falling through nothing forever. Damn. Now what? So... What happened to you after I left? I just flew around for a bit. Would you believe it? I actually went back to Mercuria Harbor to find the old man again, see <laughs> what he was up to. I kind of miss him. I mean, I hate him and I hope his hair falls out, but we were together for 20 years, you know, and there were good days. Three? Well, one, one? at least. Okay. One good day. That's Anyways, good. he was gone. Not a trace left of him. Either he drowned or he got out of town with the rest of them. Okay, so... What's going on in Arcadia now? Don't you know? No. There's a great big war going on, that's uh, what. Besides the tyrant that. are rising against the nations of the Northlands, and Mercuria has been evacuated. A lot of people are getting killed, and it looks like the tyrant might win this time around. They got this huge, swirling, chaotic-looking magical weapon on their side. I killed um, it. Not yeah. anymore, <laughs> they don't. Really? Well, then maybe our guys do stand a chance after all. It was looking bleak there for a second, believe you me. I do. I was even considering brushing up on my Tyran. Nian, or whatever it is those barbarians speak. Sounds like a bunch of guttural rubbish to me, you know, like, I'm not particularly refined, you know? Hmm. Do you know what happened to my friends? Your friends? Sorry. No, oh, wait, 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 I think. That Benar you've been talking to? Abnaxis? I think I saw him heading north at a great speed. And Mr. Westhouse was kind enough to share a cup of whiskey with me when I went to ask him if he'd seen you. Good stuff. Bad. Bad hangover. Other than that, I don't know. Sorry. Alrighty. Any idea what we should do? You're asking me? Yeah. Me? Yeah. You're actually asking me for advice? Uh -huh. Me, huh? Yeah. Don't see nobody else around, do you? I don't perform well when I'm put on the spot like this, you know. But, okay, I'm thinking. I got wings. If you need some flying done, I'm your man. Bird. I'm your bird. Well, maybe you could fly and see what's up with this thing. Thanks, Crow. Anytime, babe. I mean, ma'am. Miss. 
April, April, April. They're all fine. Crow, can you fly across the canyon to the base of the tower? Can a chick lay eggs? Well, I, I know, know you can't, but... Yeah, I can do that. Um, what was it you wanted me to do again? No clue. Just fly across <laughs> the canyon and see if you can find any weird buttons or levers or something like that. Yeah. What for? To push or There must be a pull. way to cross this canyon. And maybe there's a magical bridge that needs to be activated. I don't know, Crow. Just fly across and check it out, okay? Will do. Hang on. What am I saying? Of course you'll hang on. It's not like you have any other choice. I could jump into the nothingness. If it takes awfully long. It didn't. We're fine. What did you find? Nothing. No bridge, that's for sure. But there's a well on the other side. Well, on well, top well. of that conical sandstone staircase right below the tower. It looked magical. It had that no good stay the heck away blue shimmer to it. So I didn't fly any closer. Who knows where I'd end up. That's got to be the well of making. Well, maybe it can be making us a bridge then. <laughs> <laughs> Making us a bridge! <laughs> I'm killing I'm killing today! You're easily wow. amused, Crow. My brain's one-tenth the size of yours. What do you want from me? But maybe you got a point. Maybe the Well of Making can help us somehow. It was only a joke, April. I know, but still. Uh... Uh, uh, well of making. It's the well of making. <laughs> um, go do something with the well of making. Crow, I want you to get me some water from the well of making. Ah, that's a good idea. What? Are you crazy? How am I supposed to carry water back from... Oh, no, 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 no. There's no way I'm doing that. Come on, Crow. Your beak is perfect for the purpose. I don't need a lot of water, and all you have to do is make sure you don't swallow. Hey, magic's got its upsides, I'm sure. I mean, where would social welfare be without magic? But what? magic water in my beak? No way. What if I did swallow? If I'm lucky, I'll just explode or something. Mm -hmm. If not, I've heard stories, April, and none of them are very nice. Magic's not a toy, nor is it a food, and it certainly doesn't belong in my beak. Please, time's running short and the balance is at stake. You've got to help me, Crow. Don't you want to be a hero? Hero? Sure. Stooge? No. Oh, curses and damnation and all things mean and ugly. Fine. I'll put my life on the line, tempt fate, and risk a certain and painful death by magical poisoning if... If? If what? If you'll promise to pluck my fleas for the next, uh, year. Two years. One year? So honor and glory mean nothing to you? Not as much as a good flea plucking. No. Okay. Deal. Now, fly! Yike! <laughs> Yikes! Spit it out. How did it go? Oh, good. Oh, we got way of what to do. Mm -hmm. What do I want you to do? I can't take the water, so you're gonna have to do whatever it is we need done with it. Okay, let me think about it for a second. Maybe dump it down the canyon. I would think. I got an idea, Crow. Well? You said there was nothing down there, right? The absence of anything. Uh-huh. The water in your mouth is magical water from the well of making. Whoa. 
So what if we add the magic of making to nothing? What happens then? Um... Something, right? Well, well, what is that? Something's better than nothing. Fly down there and spit the water out on top of the nothing. Then get out quickly. Something will happen, I'm sure of it. I'm just not sure what exactly. Well, 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 okay. Nothing to it. Oh, well, that makes sense. What about Crow? That's something, all right. But what? It's a bridge. Where's Crow? I don't know. Crow! 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 Oh, please let him be all right, wherever he is. Well, we can try to... flute again. I guess he's not around. I guess he's not around. I should try again later. Yeah. Well, let's use the mist bridge. It's been a long journey getting here, but this is it. The end of the road. You think? All I have to do now is figure out how to get up into the tower. I thought I'd already passed the three trials. There's always something. I guess it's not supposed to be easy. I would think it's pretty easy. I guess this must be the well of making. It's not as imposing as I thought it would be. Not even close. The shape of the thing is a... Whoa. I thought I should put the stone disc there, but I guess not. Well, well, well. It's the well of making. It's very deep and very clear. And obviously magical. So what do I drop in? This guy? No. This guy. Yes. Boobly boobly. Oh, it's a dry spell, I guess. Get it? Dry spell. I guess I was wrong. It's a wet spell. Alrighty. Place your hand in there. The water has shaped itself into a hand. Let's see if it fits like a glove. That can't be good. Oh, might be. Thank God you came. I thought you were lost for good. My path here diverged from yours. You had to pass the three trials. You were right in warning me. This place is like a Freudian nightmare. The first psychologist to arrange field trips here will rake in a fortune. I mean, talk about shock therapy. It is a sacred place. Only the chosen few can pass through the desolation. But then why didn't my hand work on the well of making? I mean, I passed all the tests, right? Because it's not your time yet. That is yet. a mystery. 
You are to be the 13th guardian, are you not? The balance has picked you. That's so. Your hand should have unlocked the tower, like mine did. Why did it still react to your hand? Even though I left the tower, I am still the current guardian. And I will continue to be until you go through the ritual and take my place. Ah. Hold on. I think we're about to move. The tower is letting us in. So I must still... Go in home or not? I guess not. Who's the third guy? I never thought I would see this place again. It's cold. Was it always this cold? I do not know. When I was here last, I did not feel much at all. Well, I'm freezing. I spent more than 1,000 years in this tower, and yet I cannot remember ever feeling warm or cold. Being Guardian, there is just the balance and our duty to it. You didn't feel anything? There are no emotions. Emotions interfere with the balance. I was the conduit between magic and logic, between chaos and order. And I had to be clean. That sounds horrible. It never felt that way. I was content. As far as it was possible for me to be content. Until the very end, when I became restless. That's when you left the tower? I had no choice. The balance forced me out. I was polluting the flows that passed through me, through this room. And it was time for someone to succeed me. So now it's... it's my turn. To be Guardian. Are you afraid? I've never been so afraid in my life. A thousand years. Everything will be gone when I'm... when I'm done. My friends, my family... dead. My world probably changed beyond recognition. I know, April. I have experienced this myself. When I returned to Stark, I could not believe that all the things I knew, the memories of a life that I recalled as clearly as if it were only yesterday, they were all gone. I was lost. Alone, dying, until the vanguard picked me up from the street and imprisoned me. It shames me to say it, but that was a relief. To be fed, to sleep comfortably, to be warm. You have every right to be afraid, but consider this. Your sacrifice will be the salvation of mankind, of two worlds. What greater gift is there? What greater reward than to know you are like a god? Believe me. I could do without the reward. If there was any other way, I'd embrace it in a second. But I won't shy away from this either. If it is my destiny, then so be it. Good. To wish for the loss of dreams and emotions would be wrong. But to acknowledge it in the face of your fears, this proves you are ready. Okay. So, what now? What do I do? Just. Walk to the edge of the disk. The tower will know what to do. If you are the new guardian, the tower will embrace you. All right, here it goes. One thousand years. Won't be that long. It won't feel that long, I guess. And what'll happen after? I guess that's the question. Now what? Nothing's happening. You are right. Then it is as I suspected. What? What? What did you suspect? That you are not the one chosen to take my place in the tower. You are not the 13th guardian. What the hell? If I'm not, then... I think I may be able to answer that question, Miss Ryan. Why would they pick you? You? How, How the hell did you get here? It was hanging on the disc. You didn't think your little games back at the station would fool anyone, did you? 
Well, aside from those moronic and useless guards. It puzzles me why Mr. McAllen could be such a visionary and yet be so lacking in his comprehension of human nature to surround himself with brainless louts. Maybe because he wasn't human. He was not? Yeah. That would explain a lot. If he was not human, then... Wait. What was he? Aren't I a dragon too? You mean, you didn't know? He was your boss, and you had no idea who you were working for. How pathetic can you get? Don't toy with me, child! Don't you dare toy with me! I... I... Don't. I do not know what came over me. I'm not prone to anger. In fact, I'm usually quite incapable of it. Must be the environment that's... I don't feel quite right. Like there's something in here that's calling to me. What are you doing to me? I don't know what you're talking about, Gordon. No matter. I can ignore this. It's so hot in here. Don't you feel it? The heat? What the hell? I'm freezing. Maybe you should lie down for a minute or two. <laughs> Maybe you should lie down, Miss Ryan. I actually have a good reason to be here. But you do not. After all, you are no longer a candidate in this race, are you? Why not? I may not become the new guardian, but neither will you. The balance will never accept you. Don't be so sure, April. I... Uh, th that's your name, is it not, April? What is it with people and names? Yeah. I will be the guardian. The balance will have... No choice. Not with you and the previous guardian. Gone. And I'm... I'm... There's something. Here. Isn't there? Someone's calling my name. Someone's... No. No. Not that. Not here. You brought it here, you stupid bitch! Ah, could it be my sister? Stop! I'm not to take part in this, am I? Oh, I am. Gordon's the stronger one. He'll win if I don't do something. Adrian's not going to be able to hold out against Gordon forever. Let's work him with the monkey. Or not. Uh. It's a large disc with a ring around it, made out of two stone serpents biting each other's tails. One of the serpents has almost completely swallowed the other. Oh. Maybe I have to do something about that. Oh. Or smack Gordon with the disc. No, stay away from me. Don't. No. Does it still have the magic bound to it? Yeah. Whoopsie. again y you gave me back my life what i did you don't sound like yourself are you okay i do sound like myself and i'm better than i've ever been april I i'm whole again 
So it worked? The joining of two halves? What? Magic and logic. Order and chaos. I'm in balance now. I am balance. And it's glorious. I'm sorry for what I did to you, April. And to you, sir, I I'm sorry for everything. It wasn't you. Not all of you, anyway. It was me. But it misguided me. I, I wish I could undo all the harm I've done to both worlds. Both as Gordon Holloway and as the Chaos Vortex. But I can't undo my actions. All I can do is make sure they'll never happen again. And the only way to ensure that is by becoming the Guardian. Huh. You? The Guardian? It's my destiny, April Ryan, not yours. I was born to be the Guardian. And although the Vanguard almost managed to prevent that from ever happening, they didn't succeed. Interesting. And now, I'm ready. Thanks to you. But what about me? If I'm not going to be the Guardian, then who am I? That's something I cannot answer for you, April. Only you can do that. But I don't think the universe is done with you. You are important. Just not in the way you imagined. I guess some sort of protector. He speaks the truth, April. He is to be the Guardian now. It was always his destiny, even though it was taken from him by the Vanguard. We will begin the changing of the guards now, Gordon. And you, April. Thank you. Thank you for your sacrifice, your courage, your kindness. Okay, stop. You're making me feel very self-conscious. I only did what had to be done. Which is more than most people would have done. True. Your journey here will be remembered, April Ryan. Remembered and retold for all time. Right now, I'm only concerned about what's coming next. Where do I go now? Where can I go? That is your choice to make. But do not fret. This world will never hurt you again. How do I get back to Stark? Or Arcadia, for that matter? Walk. Walk until you are outside, and then go back inside. It is easy from here. You can go anywhere you wish. Oh, cool. I guess then that this is goodbye. Perhaps we will meet again. Yeah, why not? It's not an impossible thought. Anyway, you guys have an important job to get to. Don't let me hold you back. Thank you. What do you do exactly? Goodbye. Oh. Yeah, goodbye. Not gonna tell me. Alright. I guess it's back to painting then. Woo! And selling so that's coffee. The end of that. Funny. I feel almost melancholy. Despite everything that's happened. I'm actually gonna miss this. This adventure. Yeah. After all, what am I doing now? Going back to school? Live like nothing has happened? Like I'm just a... a normal person? Well, it's a long way home. <laughs> I'll figure it out before right. I get there. Wherever there is. Just walk out and walk in again. Hey! Hey, April, wait up! Where you going? Wait! Don't leave me here!
And so the story goes. Is that it? But whatever happened to April Ryan? And did that man, Gordon Halloway, become a good and just guardian? That is the end. If you had studied your scriptures, child, you would know that the 13th guardian was the last guardian to watch over the balance. Was it after his reign that the worlds were reunited? During his reign. Not long after the events I have just described. Please tell us more. Tell us what happened to April and about the reunification of Stark and Arcadia. I think I will save those stories for another night. I'm feeling tired. And it is late. I would see you out, but my legs. Thank you, Lady Alvani. We'll find our way out ourselves. Thank you again for your hospitality and for your story. And so the story goes. How strange it was to tell it again. To remember April Ryan. That was such a long, long time ago. And now, now my story is almost over as well. Uh, you're as healthy as ever. You still got a lot of life left in you. Wish I was half as lucky. Don't say that. You're okay. You can still fly. Fly, yes. <laughs> But those cute little birds, they don't seem to appreciate that. They're holding out for their young, handsome suitors, and they don't have time for an old crow like me. Well, you got me, crow. Isn't that something? I guess. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, of course. Unless... You're not planning on going out there again, are you? On a new adventure? Cause, I don't know, I'm kinda happy staying here. Don't worry, Crow. I think our adventuring days are over. But that doesn't mean we can't tell stories, does it? No, definitely not. Tell me one. Tell me the one about the young, beautiful warrior princess who single-handedly won the War of the Balance. Hmm, I don't remember it quite like that, Crow, but let's see. This story begins a long, long time ago, when Stark and Arcadia were still to be reunited, and the Guardian was still on his throne. <laughs> <laughs> 